A lantern. It looks like the woodsman's. Whoa. What happened here? <gasps> Greg! Greg! Are you... We're... Oh, Greg. We're... I did it. I beat the beast. <coughs> oh, jeez, the leaves are even growing inside of him. No, I was just eating leaves. I'm sorry, Wirt. No, no, Greg. It's my fault we ended up here. Everything's been my fault. I should have been more... No, I mean, my rock facts rock. What? What? I, I stole it, Wirt. I stole it from Mrs. Daniel's garden. I'm a stealer, and that's a rock fact. What? No, Greg, that doesn't matter. It does matter. <coughs> you have to return it for me, okay? No, you can give it to her yourself. Come on. We, we gotta get Jason Funderburker home, right? Jason Funderburker, the perfect frog name. Greg? Greg? Let's get him out of this, come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on! It's gonna be fine, Wirt. <gasps> Give me my lantern. Your lantern? No way, we need this thing. Yeah, I'm keeping this. I have to get Greg home. Your brother is too weak to go home. He will soon become part of my forest. I won't let that happen. Well then, perhaps we better make a deal. Deal? Oh. I can put his spirit in the lantern. As long as the flame stays lit, he will live on inside. Take on the task of lantern bearer or watch your brother perish. Come here. <sighs> okay. <gasps> Bert! Wait, that's dumb. What? That's dumb. I'm not just gonna wander around in the woods for the rest of my life. I'm trying to help you. You're not trying to help me. You just have some weird obsession with keeping this lantern lit. It's almost like your soul is in this lantern. <sighs> Are you ready to see true darkness? Are you? <clears throat> Are you? <gasps> don't! Don't! <gasps> Here, Woodsman. I've got my own problems to take care of. This one's yours. <sighs> My brother and I are going home. She was never in the lantern, was she, beast? Listen, woodsman. Listen to me. <clears throat> Word. Come with us. I... I gotta go home, too. Admit to my family it's my fault they're bluebirds. <clears throat> what? The scissors. That'll make your family human again. You had them all along? Oh, I... I... Used them to escape Adelaide, and then, then yeah, I, I was sort of mad at you. Oh, you, the wonderful mistake of nature. You see, Woodsman, all who perish here will become trees for the lantern. Cut them down with your axe. Go, now! Stop! You'll never see your daughter again, Woodsman. Are you really ready to go back to that empty house? No, Woodsman! Goodbye, Beatrice. Goodbye, Wirt. One is a bird, two are the trees, three is the wind in the leaves, four are the stars, Five with the moon. Wirt, you okay? Can you see me, Wirt? Mm, where am I? A hospital. A hospital? Greg, where's Greg? And then, Wirt, I was telling them about the time we almost got... Ha ha ha, yeah, and you were there too, Jason Funderburker. Me? Not you, Jason Funderburker, my frog. Bruh. Our frog. Our frog. Our frog? No, not your frog. Hey, so, uh, about this? Mm. Yeah, so, I don't have a tape player. 
So... Uh, yeah. So, maybe we can listen to this... You can listen to it at my house. Yes. Maybe we, maybe we should listen to some other tapes first, though, and sort of work our way to this one. This one's a little bit, uh, I mean, y you can listen to and it. And so the story is complete, and everyone is satisfied with the ending, and so on and so forth, and yet, over the garden wall. How the gentle wind beckons through the leaves as autumn <gasps> colors fall. Dancing in a swirl of golden memories, the loveliest lies of all. Honey? Eat your dirt. Mom, stop calling it dirt. What are you going to do about it? Turn us into bluebirds again? <laughs> Mom. <laughs> now eat your dirt. The loveliest lies of all.